Hey guys, Haley Lane aka Key Black here and welcome back to another episode of Off the Cuff. I'm going to be continuing along the same vein talking about G Gundam. Specifically today I want to talk about episode 2 with Chibity Crockett's entrance. God, this episode with Chibity, it's still one of my favorites. Not necessarily because of what happens in it, just because you know it gets a little slower compared to what happens later in the series. Um, but it has some really excellent moments to kind of demonstrate Chibity's character. If you guys haven't seen G Gundam, he is basically the quintessential this guy's the American <laughs> in your anime um, but you know he's he's pretty much composed of everything everything you might think of as an American stereotype you know first impression of him in the episode is him mouthing off to his superiors while he's still shirtless I guess right after a boxing match <laughs> and then yeah, the booth babes crowd around him and it's just like oh this is beautiful this guy actually seems like a great guy to hang out with he just seems fun um, you know, he's introduced as piloting the Gundam Maxter, which I've, I mentioned before in the first Off the Cuff episode talking about G Gundam. This thing is a football player uh, riding a surfboard, wielding a giant pistol. But it, somehow I managed to miss this detail. See, like, because because Chibity himself, he's a boxer. He actually is the representative of uh, Neo America's Space Colonies Boxing Ring League. So the, this episode is actually it's kind of centered around him going into the uh, the title match for that. But the Gundam he pilots also boxes. I didn't notice on first watch that in moving into its its boxing mode, the thing basically just ejects the front plate and the thing's got abs underneath it. <laughs> so it's like rippling abs on a boxing robot, Imagawa. It's so good. <laughs> But yeah, so this episode basically, uh, we're, we're kind of introduced through introduced to Chibity through uh, um, the title match between Neo America's space colony and Neo America's uh, on Earth population. Uh, Domon, as he is uh, inclined to do, and he, he kind of makes a track record out of this, basically just kind of goes, "Oh, the the Neo American representative is going to be here for a title match, eh?" Hmm. I don't care about that. I care about Gundam fights, and I care about seeing if anybody has seen this man. <laughs> And uh, basically what he does is Do Go Domon goes in, knocks out the guy who is going to be fighting Chibity in his title match, takes his place in the ring. He's wearing this, like, you know, uh, sh this, this sheet over his head so people can't recognize him. Before the match starts, he goes in, gets a sucker punch uppercut on Chibity, and Chibity's like, what the hell? <laughs> And Domon basically, you know, has a brief spar with him. Chibity lands a devastating blow on his, uh, on, on Domon's ab. And it's like, oh yeah, okay. Uh, so establish that Chibity is really freakishly strong. Got it. Love it. Domon basically challenges him to a Gundam fight, then runs off. And, uh, ch leaving Chibity to go like, who the hell was that? I'm gonna fight that guy. I, I will not stand for this. There's this, oh my god. There's this great transition between the uh, the last shot we see of Chibity in the ring, frustrated all to hell that this guy just showed up out of nowhere and ruined the title match and you know made a fool out of him in front of all these people that he you know he, he's trying to he he, he, st he says his aim here is to give the people of ne Neo America hope for the American dream, which I love that about his character. But this transition shot, he raises his fist up and brings it slamming down. Burst the table in two. It's like, good lord, Chibity. I like this guy. <laughs> it's also so much fun because the guys he was mouthing off to earlier, um, it's they, they kind of seem like they might be the G Gundam equivalent of CIA or FBI or Secret Service or something like that. They're basically Fed boys, you know. <laughs> and uh, it's uh, it's fun because over the course of the episode, it's revealed that these guys are not actually on Chibity's side. They're using him for whatever their goal is, and their goal is simply to get the power grab that comes with the Gundam fight, which is, you know, of course, you know, people, the countries fight every four years to see who gets to rule all of space. And they don't care what, like, one bit at all for sportsmanship or for Chibity himself. They actually, they use one of uh, Chibity's uh, teammate, teammates, Bunny, they hypnotize her, send her over to send a message to uh, Domon and Rain, and get basically Domon confused about where Chibity's gonna be accepting Domon's challenge to a Gundam fight. They send him over to Broadway while Chibity's over waiting for them in this. <laughs> He's waiting for them in the football stadium, it's so good. But Chibity's wondering, where the hell is Domon? Domon's wondering, where the hell is Chibity? And then the Fed Boys show up and they basically just like, they, they try to assassinate Domon right on the spot. 
Rain manages to get away, goes over to Chibity, where, where she realizes Chibity is, and she's like, hey, Chibity, what the hell is the big idea here? And Chibity's like, they did what? <laughs> so he gets this great hero entrance when he comes careening in, smashes one of the fed boy robots on the jaw, and goes like, hey, you, me, <laughs> You, Japanese! God, he calls him Japanese in the original Japanese dub in plain English. It's so good. Oi, Japanese! And he basically challenges him back to a more fair Gundam fight once the, you know, the, the, the traitorous problem is cleared out. The ensuing Gundam fight is a lot of fun. Um, he, uh basically gets to show off all of what Gundam Maxter is capable of. There's this great, you know, the boxing sequence. We get to see the thing like it rips its shirt off, basically. <laughs> Giant robot with abs fighting against the Shining Gundam. Um, Domon manages to get in some good hits and basically defeats uh, Gundam Maxter by, you know, taking out his right arm. Um, Chibity is willing to accept defeat and is kind of doing that like, what are you doing, having pity on me? Oh, yeah. I've, I've seen plenty of that look on people's faces. Don't have pity on me, finish me off. And Domon, I love this because like this is once again, Domon is not the hardened, you know, cold hearted guy that he acts like he is because he stands back and the, the people of modern day uh, Neo-American New York start crowding around the Gundam Maxter and cheering Shibidi on. And Shibidi's like, oh, oh, I guess these people still have faith and hope in me. You know what? If I gave up now, I'd be disappointing all of them. So he comes out of the Gundam Maxter and he raises his fist and it's, it's this great moment. It's like, I love this stuff. It is so wholesome. And then of course, Dobon gets to respond with <laughs> his own English in response to all of Chibity's throughout the episode. Chibity Croqueto, nice guy. <laughs> So episode two is a lot of fun. Again, guys, if you haven't watched G Gundam, uh, highly recommend it, uh, if only for the excellent uh, characters that you basically meet in the first five episodes. I'm gonna go ahead and cap off discussion about episode two there. Thank you guys so much for listening and for watching. I will see you in the next episode where I'll be discussing Sai Saishi's entrance, the representative of Neo-China. So I will see you guys then.